If you're looking at buying a house that has a concrete pool and that concrete pool has an attached hot tub or a hot tub that's integrated into the, um, the, the circulation system of that swimming pool, you need to be very careful. Uh, it's not to say that that's bad. It's not bad at all. It's fantastic. It's one of the most expensive pool spa configurations that you're going to find in the residential market. But it's also something that, depending on the area that you live in, if, if every other house in that area has something similar, then I'm less concerned. If you're the only house on the street that would have a concrete pool spa combination, I would be a little more worried because if, if the guys who built that didn't do that kind of work every day, there's a good chance they made a mess of it. Um, and one of the ways you're going to be able to tell is going and inspecting the equipment installation. Ideally, what you want to have is completely independent systems. Pump filter heater for the pool, pump filter heater for the spa. When the two are integrated together or a shared system or a combination system, it's not necessarily a problem, but it increases the likelihood that that it looks messy. And if you're if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking to yourself, the one I just looked at was a disaster. There's pipes everywhere and it was so confusing and you had no idea how you would possibly operate this kind of system. Yeah, that's about the going rate for pool spa combinations. So if you went and look at the the equipment and it's completely isolated and separate equipment and everything's clean and lit. Well, I mean, you're looking good if it's everything's clean and labeled and straight and, and isolated. More likely that the two um, the two sets of equipment are shared. So maybe you have one heater between the two um, and that's going to cause for a lot of extra plumbing, which is going to make it look confusing, especially if the guy who built it doesn't build stuff like that every day. He probably didn't design it in an efficient fashion. And that's the case for most older concrete pools that have a shared pool and spa. Um, what you want to be careful about more than anything else is if you buy a problem with a swimming pool spa combination, you buy yourself a big problem. There's a lot of ways that those can break or be poorly designed that can just cause all kinds of frustration in terms of even just your regular maintenance costs uh, to balance the water um, because they can leak a lot. You know, there's uh, there you could run into problems where you can't find conventional covers that will fit your pool so you can close it for the season or if the equipment shared when you turn off your pool for the year, you have to turn off your hot tub too. In a lot of areas, you don't want to turn off your hot tub. You want to use it in the winter. But if yours is integrated into the pool system and the pool has to be closed and winterized, well, then you can't use it. Um, but the biggest concern and the biggest thing that you want to inspect for is any signs of leaks or water loss or cracking, uh, basically where the two meet, where the concrete hot tub meets the concrete pool. Look for um, any cracks or separations or efflorescence growth. Efflorescence growth is calcium growth that would grow any place where water is permeating concrete. So if there was a crack there, you might, not, might not notice the crack itself, but you might notice the efflorescence growth growing at the crack. So it's just an indicator something to look for um the the, sh the the concern is is that when you have a shared pool spa combo, oftentimes you'll have a shared wall. So one w wall where on one side of the wall is the interior of the pool, on the other side of the wall is the interior of the hot tub. And to build that from a technical perspective, depending on whether you're doing a port in place or like a shot crate or gunite pool, it's not super challenging, but it's more challenging than just building a regular pool or a regular hot tub. Building the two that integrate together could potentially cause problems where you have a crack and the water will leak between the two or escape the system altogether, which is obviously undesirable. Um, so that's what you're looking for. If you, if you suspect that there's any kinds of problems with this pool spa combination, I would just say walk away for sure uh, because you, you could be buying yourself the holy grail of expensive swimming pool problems. Um, so don't even think about buying a, a house with a, a concrete uh, pool and spa shared system without having an expert thoroughly inspect it. You can't inspect it closely enough whatever it costs make sure you pay it don't don't buy a house like that because if it's an older one it was probably not something that they did every day especially if it's 20 30 40 years old that would have been a really big deal 20 30 40 years ago to have a shared concrete pool spa combo um 
and it might have been one of the first of its generation that went in and technically it might have not been executed that well or it might have had problems since day one or what if everything was good for its whole life but that hot tub with the plumbing that it was used it's all reached the end of its service life like with a, a hot tub booster pump when you turn it on there's a big pipe hammer because it's a powerful pump like a two horsepower pump driving these jets and there's a big pipe hammer and the, the, the pipe that was used is probably PVC or flexible PVC or uh, potentially poly something like that but over time all of that pipe hammer is going to weaken the the connections the joints every, the if you develop a leak on plumbing that's internal in the wall of a uh, shared pool spa combination you, you got it you have to jackhammer out the entire interior surface of the hot tub and rebuild it from base uh, components like sand and cement it's not something that you want to get into unexpectedly it's one thing if you know what you're getting into it's another thing altogether if you if you if you're buying a house that you think is good to go and that concrete pool needs a $50,000 renovation so definitely watch out for that if I'm buying a house or inspecting a pool uh, with a, a shared pool spa combo concrete I'm going to scrutinize the heck out of it. It could be great. It could be fantastic. But you you have to manage your expectations. You have to understand that uh, if you live in a cold climate area, that hot tub's going to be closed all winter. You're not going to be able to use it. Um, if you have uh, separate systems, then you've got a pool or a pump a filter a heater that can fail on this thing you've got a pump filter heater that can fail on this thing your maintenance costs are going to be a lot of money when you need an interior surface you need a new interior surface in the pool and probably a new interior surface in the hot tub and the amount of plumbing that's involved in a shared pool spa combo versus just a regular swimming pool is like five times as much plumbing easily so with five times as much plumbing that's five times the likelihood for a leak somewhere in the system and if there's been a slow leak in the system for many years that's gotten worse, you might be buying the pool right at the end of its service life where it needs a major renovation and you could get into some serious trouble like that. Uh, so while I love the, the concrete pool spa combo, I, I have to say you have to be super careful when you're looking at buying a house like that, especially with an older one. Get a professional to look at it, and uh, I would go so far as to, to pressure test the, the system. I would, I would pay for a pressure test myself of the entire plumbing system. If it looks good, the structure looks good, there's no cracks, the pool and spa aren't sinking, and the equipment looks acceptable, the minimum I would do is pressure test the hot tub. If the hot tub will pass a pressure test, I would consider buying the house. So that's kind of where I'll leave that, is if you're thinking about buying one, get an expert in, pay for a pressure test. If it passes that and it looks good in every other way from a visual perspective, then I'd consider proceeding, but proceed with caution for sure.